In this video, we're gonna work our way towards factoring trinomials that have a leading coefficient of one. And in doing that, we're gonna work on some pre-factoring skills right here out of the very beginning, where I call it a little X game, where we're given two numbers. So the number on top is what two numbers need to multiply to make, and the number on the bottom is what they need to add together to create. So here in this first problem, I'm trying to find two numbers that multiply together to make 20 that add together to make 12, and those two numbers would be 10 and two because 10 times two makes 20, 10 plus two makes 12. Now we're looking here at the next one, two numbers that times together to make seven that add together to make eight, while numbers that multiply to make seven are one and seven, and one plus seven makes the number in the bottom makes eight. Next one, multiply to make 80, add together to make 18, well, 80 is 10 times 8, and 10 plus 8 makes 18. Now we're here, we get a, have our first negative number. So two numbers that multiply together to make negative 6 that add together to make negative 1. Well, 6 is the product of negative 3 and positive 2, and negative 3 plus 2 makes negative 1. Then we go two numbers that multiply together to make positive 16 that add together to make negative 10. Well, it, since I have to add up to be a negative number but multiply together to make a positive number, that means both of these numbers have to be negative. And 16 is two numbers that multiply to make 16 add together to make negative 10 would be negative 8 and negative 2. Next one is multiply to make negative 40, add up to be positive 3. Well, I have to multiply together to be a negative number, so that means one number's negative, one number's positive, and they gotta add together to be positive 3. So 40 and have a difference of 3. Two numbers that multiply together to make 40 are 8 and 5, but so I need to add together to be positive 3, so 5 or would have to be negative and the eight would have to be positive because negative five plus eight makes three, negative five times eight is negative 40. Next one, multiply to make negative 78, add together to make negative seven. Well, 13 times six makes 78 and to make negative 78, one of them's gonna have to be negative. And so, um, I need to add together to be negative seven, so 13 would be negative, six would be positive. Last one here, two numbers at times together be positive 20 that add together to be negative nine, so I multiplied to make a positive, so both of these numbers need to be negative because they add together to make a negative, and 20 would be five and four, and negative five and negative four uh, add together to make negative nine. So that whole process of trying to think about the numbers that multiply to make a number and add to make a number are how we do, how we factor. So let's look here at this first problem. Is I want to undo the multiplication of two binomials to create m squared plus 13m plus 40. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two sets of parentheses here. Since this first number in front is 1m squared, that means these two front parts both are m because m times m makes m squared. And now I need to figure out, kind of just like what we just did. And so I need to figure out the two numbers together that multiply together to make 40, so the number on the end, that will add together to make the number in the middle, in this case 13. And so the two numbers that multiply together to make 40, that add together to make 13, are positive eight and positive five. So what that means is I have m plus eight and m plus five. And it's always a good idea here at the very beginning is to double check that you did it right. So if I was to distribute this out, change colors so, so we can check, m times m makes m squared. m times five makes plus five m. 8 times m makes plus 8m, and then 8 times 5 makes 40. And we put these together, we have m squared plus 13m plus 40, and that's what we started with, so that means we 
undid the multiplication part right, which is called factoring. Okay, next problem here. So I want to factor this. I want to undo the multiplication. So I'm going to write two binomials next to each other. My first term here is x squared, so x times x makes x squared. Now we're doing that little x game. So I need to figure out what numbers multiply together to make 9 that add together to make negative 6. Well, those two numbers would be negative 3 and negative 3. Because negative 3 times itself makes positive 9. Negative 3 plus negative 3 makes negative 6. So this factors to x minus 3 times x minus 3. And you can check that by distributing it back out. Now, if you have two binomials multiplying together that are the exact same, I could write it as one binomial being raised to that uh, many power. So I have two x minus 3's times it together, so that's the same thing as x minus 3 squared. If I would have three of them, that exponent would be 3. So here's our answer in factored form. All right, next one, x squared plus x minus 56. I want to factor it, so I'm going to make two sets of parentheses here. I have one x squared, so that means I have to have an x and an x. Now we try to figure out what numbers will multiply together to make 56 that add together to make the number in the middle? So if I look at this in terms of that x game, i got to times together to be negative 56, and I have to add together to make positive 1. And so 8 times 7 makes 56. Now I need to be negative and add up to be 1, so that means the 7 is going to be negative and the 8 is going to be positive. So I'm going to have x minus 7 and x plus 8 in my factored form. All right, next one, v squared minus 9v plus 20. I want to factor it, so I'm going to make my two sets of parentheses here. We have 1v squared, so that means v times v made v squared. Uh, the numbers on the end have to multiply together to make 20 and add together to make negative 9. So if you want to do the little x here like we did at the beginning of the video, times together to make 20, add together to make negative 9. Th that number would be, or those numbers would be negative 5 and negative 4. So I'd have v minus 5 and v minus 4. Now here's an interesting one. We have p squared minus 25. We have two terms. Usually when you see two terms, you try to factor by taking out the GCF. Well, there is no GCF between p squared and negative 25. However, there's another way that I could approach this problem, is to write it in the form where I see all the exponents of p. So we have 1p squared. We have 0p to the 1 power. And then we have minus 25. And so we're trying to factor that expression now that I see three terms. So we have 1p squared, so that's p times p. Now I've got to figure out what times what makes negative 25. All right, so I've got to multiply to make negative 25. And then we have to add together to make 0. And so the two numbers that would multiply together to make negative 25 that add together to be 0 would be negative 5 and positive 5. So I'd have p minus 5 and p plus 5 would be my factored form. And you can, remember, you can always check it by multiplying it out and seeing if your answers match. All right, this one here, we have 5x squared plus 10x minus 120. And unlike all the other problems we had, this one has a coefficient in front of x squared. And so if you have a coefficient in front of the x squared, what you want to try to do is you want to see if this number is a GCF of all the numbers that you're working with in your problem. And so I want to try to factor out a 5. Now, looking at the numbers we have, 5, 10, and 120, 5 goes into all three of those, so that way I can do this. So I'm going to pull a 5 out, and I'm going to write what's left after I pull out a 5, which means I'm dividing all my terms by 5. So 5x squared divided by 5 makes 1x squared. 10x divided by 5 makes positive 2x. And then negative 120 divided by 5 makes negative 24. And so now we're looking, and we want to factor this inside expression here. So I'm only going to be looking at that part there when, I, when it comes to factor. But that 5 is still out here. So I'm going to write 5, and then I'm going to write my two parentheses that I'm working with. Now, the two things that multiply together to make 1x squared is going to be x and x. And then we proceed as we've done before. What multiplies together to make negative 24 that adds together to be positive 2? 
So if I wanted to make the x, I could. And so multiply to make negative 24, add together to make positive 2. And so those two numbers would be 6 and negative 4. And so I'd have x minus 4 and x plus 6, and that would be my factored form for that trinomial.